Andy is a nice looking man with that beard on his face. If they look at you now, they think you're trying to look like them. That's why on, on, the, on the TV screen, you got um, the Gillette Shade commercial. You don't see no black people on the channels. You see white, you see a so-called white man um, telling us to shave our beard. When they, when they put that stuff on the TV, our people look at the TV and say, doing it. Jesus said it's okay to shave our beard. Because that's what our people think. They think white, the white man is Jesus. Yeah. That's how that's how you that's how you grow that's how you grown to shave your beard. Read it, keep on reading. Beard, a badge of manly dignity. Uh -huh. And as a sign of mourning, uh -huh. it was the custom. It was the what? The custom Read on. to pluck it out Read on. or cut it off. Read on. The Israelites! The who? The Israelites! The you are God's chosen people. You are an Israelite. That's why we got here trying to tell all y'all. Y'all are God's chosen people. It's high time you wake up out of sleep. Breathe. Were for the Israelites uh -huh. were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beards. Guess why? Because the Lord said, Randy, you supposed to have a beard on your face. Right. You didn't know that because you don't know who you are according to God. We here to show you, show you and you who you are according to the Bible. Read, keep on reading. Probably because it was regarded as a heathenish. Under what? A heathenish uh -huh. sign. Because those were the customs of the heathen. That's why the white man can shave his beard. The Arab man can shave his beard. The, uh, the African man, he can shave his beard because we're not none of those people. Right. God said us separate among, he, he told us we the greatest thing on this earth. Right. That's right. why we got to come back to that, Randy. You understand that? What's your so, question? We, Don't go nowhere, Randy. So we ain't, I mean, we're not supposed to cut the hair off our face. Read it again. Yeah, that's what the Bible said. I don't say it. We're we, we going to give you God's word. Leviticus What's your name? Priest. Priest? Okay, read on. Leviticus 21, verse 5. Read. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So who is he talking? He said they. He talking to the children of Israel. Right. Because guess what? Guess what? Guess, guess why the Lord, it's just like the, the Lord, you, did y'all know the Lord have his favorite plant? Did y'all know the Lord have his favorite sheep? I mean, um, um, animal? So why can he not have a favorite people? You know, y'all are y'all are the favorite people of the Lord. That's right. Right. We, don't, we don't know that. That's why we out here to tell you y'all are special people, and we gonna prove it today. Come up, sister. We ain't gonna bite you. Come up, sister. Read back. Go back to Leviticus. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You can't shave off the corner of your beard. That's why I, I got was telling Randy earlier. Um, they make Gillette shaving um, cream commercials. You don't see our people up there. Don't don't you don't you don't don't when you shave you shave uh, your beard off. Don't you start scratching. Yeah, because that's that's the custom of the heathen. We just said that's a heathenish custom. You know? Do you understand that? You understand that, Randy? Yeah, get it. It get itchy because, cause why? Because we don't supposed to shave it off. That's your taste, sister. What's your nationality according to the sign right here? Because we are God's chosen people. Only thing you got to do is tell us the proof. We gonna prove everything out in the Bible. Right. right. We are God's chosen people. Right. So called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. Who you are according to the sign? Then? So you from you come from the lineage of Judah because. The um our oppressors they named us all these names on this side, got you, got you. but our biblical names are Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Manasseh, Gad, Ephraim, or so forth. Okay. So we about to prove it in the Holy Bible. Uh -huh. Let me show you because I told you we supposed to be keeping the custom that God told us to keep. That's now let 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 us prove to you briefly who you are according to the Bible. <laughs> Read on Deuteronomy twenty eight fifteen. Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse fifteen. Come on. But it shall come to pass. Moses said to the children of Israel, it's going to come to pass. Read on. Yeah. If thou will not hearken. The children of Israel have to hearken to him. He said, if y'all will not listen to him, because we don't listen to him today. We go out here and steal. We go out here and kill. We go out here and rape each other. We hate each other. We put blonde, hair. We put blonde yeah. hair in our head. Read on. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Thy God, because we don't think God punishes us. Yeah, Our people, he, most people, tell, wait, most people talking about 
It's always the devil. Uh -huh. The Lord punished our people because he gave us laws. Right on. To observe, to do all his commandments. Because we don't do God's commandments today. We can say we do, but you know them by your action. Yeah. Read on. And his statutes. Read on. Which I command thee uh -huh. this day. Read on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Bleak. Hey, let the, the, guess what? The so-called black man in America, the so-called black woman in America, guess what? We are cursed. That blonde, that blonde hair, it's a curse. Our sister's wearing pants, it's a curse. Read 48 really quick. Then we're gonna jump to Leviticus 13. Read on. Deuteronomy 28, this verse is 48. We out, we out here, we out here to- I know the words that down. Should not a woman should not wear anything pertaining to man. I know that to the Bible. Okay. Right. I know that. I know so, that. So. so what what does what does that mean? Yeah, y'all supposed to wear no pants. But so, I do. So why you why you wear pants? Did your did your great grandmama wear pants? I don't know. He, he, did your grandma wear pants? I never seen my grandma. Nothing but dress. In the, in the, in the, in the, I never seen my grandma wear pants. pants. In, in slavery. Look at that picture right there. Look at that picture. Our foremothers did not wear dresses. Right. Our foremothers did not wear dresses. Right. 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 Watch this, watch this. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Read, it said all these curses. Watch this curse here, read on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. The Lord said you're gonna serve your enemies. Why? Because we did not want to keep God's commandments. So-called blacks and Hispanics. Read on. Yeah. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh-huh. In hunger. In what? In hunger. Read on. And in thirst. Uh-huh. And in nakedness. Uh, look at that, sis. Hey, read on. And in what of all things? Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Your enemy was gonna put a yoke of iron upon your neck. What do we read? The Bible. The Bible. So what I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all are the chosen people of Israel. Right. That's right. Right. Now it's a it's the uh, give me Leviticus 13 and 13. Leviticus. Because, read, read. Leviticus. Watch this, sis, because we the children of Israel, we, reason why we broke God's commandments, I mean, reason why we was in slavery, because we broke God's commandments. Uh -huh. here's, a, here's, a, here's something that you didn't know. These are laws we're about to bring out, read. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Read. Then the priest shall see the plague. It, uh, what? The plague. A plague is a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. What is bad. A, a bad thing? Bad. Yeah. What'd you say, bro? Read on. And behold, uh -huh. if it be in the sight deeper than the skin, read, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. A what? A yellow thin hair. What's that plate? A yellow thin hair. Read on. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Because right, the Bible says you're unclean, sis, because you put that blonde in your hair. Uh-huh. Yeah. Gotcha. So what you gonna do about that? We um uh, give me the give me the not God first. What you because because, because, because sis, I know you already know you already know the law of Deuteronomy yeah. twenty two and five. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and I'm gonna get Jose uh, um read that real quick. Read that. Proverbs chapter three, oh, this verse thirty one. This is why this is why we're in the conditions. Proverbs chapter three, verse thirty one. This is why we're in the condition we're in right now because of this. Read. Envy thou not the oppressor. You can't envy your, the people who can't who uh, came from the west coast of Africa and oppressed us and brought us here to do their customs. He okay, said, read it, read that again. Envy thou not the oppressor uh -huh. and choose none of his ways. You can't choose the oppressor's way. That's One of his ways do. is he told our sisters to put on pants. Give me That's Deuteronomy 22 and 5. It's like the sisters ain't never heard this one. You heard Deuteronomy 22 and 5 too? Yeah. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Read. The woman. He said the what? The woman. God's chosen people, you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. The women, read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, sis, what's your name? I'm sorry. What's your name? Pam? Patricia. 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 Read that part again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth 
unto a man. So, sis, what's pertain to a man? Actually, hold on, I'm gonna ask you, read, keep on reading that. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. He said a man shall not put on a woman's garment. So, Pamela, what, what does, what does, what does, hold on. What, what does he have on? That's a robe. That, no, no, that's, that, you, you think, hold on, come on back, come on back, come on back, sis. Come on back. That's, that's not a skirt. All right, but back in the day, they wore skirts. No, oh, who says what? What, what skirt did. is that? I saw, the, I saw the way they were dressed. No, these, you, these, no, 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 skirts. Seen the way they were God bless y'all. No, 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 read, oh, good read thing, the bottom part again. Listen, God listen, listen, listen. Read the bottom part again. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what does a man so wear that's pertained to a woman? Now they wearing like, they wearing dresses, they wearing lipstick, they wearing... Tell the pants up. The, the skirts, so they wearing everything. Here's something that I noticed while standing on the side. What I noticed was, as God's words came out, sisters began to laugh. I have a major problem with that. Give me Galatians 6 and 7. Work it out! Galatians 6 and 7. Then I want the one of 1 Thessalonians. Um, Galatians 6 and 7. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. You can't mock God. When God's words come out, laughing at him is not to your benefit. Right. But it's to your but it's to your detriment. Because guess what? When you read Nehemiah chapter 8, when the word of God came out, everyone stopped what they were doing to hearken unto the word of God. Right. That's right. And what the people did was they wept when, when the word brought out the sins that they were in. No one laughed. The people wept because you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans have forgotten the judgment of God. Right. That's right. They have forgotten that God will put you to death. Right. But now we laugh. We mock when God's word comes out. But keep reading. For whatsoever a man soweth, uh -huh. that shall he also reap. So whatever you sow, the Bible says you're going to reap. So guess what? You laugh now, but you're going to surely cry later. That's right. Psalms 52. Psalms 52. Psalms 52. Psalms 52. You getting it? Yeah, I'm getting it. Psalms 52. How you doing, sis? Shalom. Start at verse, read verse 1. Psalm chapter 52, verse 1. Uh -huh. Why boastest thou thyself in mischief? So now, why are you boasting yourself in mischief? Mm. The fact that you're in your sin, why are you boasting that? You should be weeping because of the judgment that will come upon you for the sin that you're in. Right. Guess what? You sisters in pants. Most high God has been smiting you already. That's, That's why right. you're in the clinics. Getting, uh, what's that? Yeast infections? Bring it out! So on and so forth. Most of God's been doing it already. But you have not figured out the reason why he's doing it to you. It's because of your rebellion. It's because of your rebellion. Read. Almighty oh, man! Uh -huh. The goodness of God endureth continually. Uh -huh. Thy tongue devises mischief. So your tongue divides mischief. Because our people say, she said, I know it says in the Bible, women should not wear what pertains to a man, but I wear pants anyway. That's wicked. Right. That is, you're basically telling us you're the devil the Bible speaks of. That's that, right. right. Jump down to verse five. Verse five. Go ahead. God shall likewise destroy thee. So what is God gonna do? Destroy thee. Read. Forever. Uh-huh. He shall take away he shall take thee away uh -huh. and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place. Come on. And root thee out of the land of the living. So now, Allah. it's not only just the other nations, the Edomites are going to be plucked out forever, but the wicked of all people as well are going to be put to death. Right. right. Read. The righteous. So who? The righteous. Those who are keeping God's commandments also shall see and Fear. So the righteous are going to fear in that day of the Lord's judgment. Those keeping God's commandments are also going to fear the judgment that God is bringing upon the earth. But right. so what's going to happen? And shall laugh at him. Wait a minute. What are the righteous going to do? And laugh at him. So the righteous are going to laugh in the end. You laugh now, we will be laughing later. That's right. Understand that. Read it one more time. 
The righteous also shall see and fear uh -huh. and shall laugh at him. Job 9 and 20. Read out. Read out. Job 9 and 20. Let's see what the Bible says. Because when God's word come out, the city supposed to shut down. That's right. 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 But y'all so rebellious and love your sins, man. Read. Job chapter 9, verse 20. Uh-huh. If I justify myself. So now if we justify ourselves saying, you know what? Oh, this is, that's Bible times or biblical times. This is now. You're justifying your sins. You know? Read. Mine own mouth shall condemn me. So your own mouth that's is right. going to condemn you because you say, I know what the Bible says, but I will not do it. That's what God says. That's it? More. Keep going. If I say I am perfect. So now go ahead. It shall also prove me perverse. Uh -huh. So it's going to show that you're perverse because you feel you can do whatever you want in these times. Right. But guess what? The more the times spread and go forward is the more wicked this place gets. That's, That's right. right. Until the cleansing of the Lord comes about. Give me Ezekiel 2 and 7. Get Get out. Out. Ezekiel 2 and 7. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 7 Hello. and thou shalt speak my word. So what are we supposed to speak? My word. We're going to speak God's words because guess what? Was it Randy? Yeah. My opinion doesn't matter Randy. God doesn't care what I want to say. Right. He only wants us to speak his word. That's why everything we're saying out here we're going into the Bible and actually showing it to you. Read. And thou shalt speak my word uh -huh. unto them. Uh -huh. Where whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So we, it's not up to us if you listen or you don't. That's right. It's no sweat off our back. We're going to give you your sins that you're in that you may repent. We pray our people repent. Right. But the Bible says more of you are going to rebel against God's word than is going to repent. Read. For they are most rebellious. You see that? God says you're most rebellious. You're the most rebellious people on the planet. Right. Because you'll say, you know what? I know the Bible says women can't wear pants, but I'm going to do it anyway. I know the Bible says today's a Sabbath day, but I'm going to break the Sabbath anyway. Read that line again. For they are most rebellious. God says you're the most rebellious people on the planet. Right. Who can refute that? We just saw it right here. Right. We just saw it. Let's see. Go back to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Yeah. Let's see if our sisters are the most rebellious or they're going to hearken to the word of God. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Come on. The woman. Who is it talking about? The woman. Come on. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the woman should not wear it pertains to a man. What was that again, sister? The woman shall not wear it. Very good, very good. So you acknowledge that, read. Neither hey. shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a man cannot put on a woman's garment either. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So the question to you is, will you hear the word and do it or forbear the word, reject it? What are you gonna do? Hear it. You're gonna hear it and do it, correct? <laughs> Oh. Let's see. First, uh, give me First Samuel chapter oh. two. Bring it up. I got your question in one second. Give me one second, brother. First Samuel chapter two. Let's see what God is going to do. I think it's verse three. Actions of it. Bring it up. Let's see what God. Let's see if God is going to is, is dealing with us according to what we think we're going to do, or let's see what he wants. Let's see what he wants us to do. Read. First Samuel chapter two, verse three. Come on. Talk no more, exceedingly proud. Because we're about talking. We talk a good game. People will say here, I'm gonna do it, and then go home and do something else. Right. So we talk a good game, Bree. Let not arrogancy come out of thy out of thy mouth. Because what that sister said over here was very arrogant. She says, I know the Bible says this. But I'm going to do my own thing. That's an arrogancy. Not knowing the most high God is going to destroy her. That's right. It's very simple. We're here to teach you the laws and the sins you're in and the judgments or penalties for breaking those laws. That's what we're here to do. Brother, I said, I got your question. Bear with me. Read. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. He's a God of knowledge. Know it all. Read. And by him. 
Actions are weighed. So what is God weighing? Actions are weighed. So talk is cheap to the Most High God. He wants to see what you're going to do. What you're going to do. Real quick, the brother had a question. What's your question? Okay, what is, who, who? I got a You got a question? <laughs> okay, go ahead. When you don't listen, what that mean? What's what? When you don't listen, what that mean? When you don't listen, yes, sir. what does it mean? Yes, sir. It means you don't hold it to the word of God. No, 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 you're not asking my question. I didn't, I didn't hear, I don't understand. When you don't listen, right? When who don't listen? I said listen, right? What does that mean when you don't listen? What does that it mean? That means you're stupid. Oh, yeah, right. And, and, and like an with the problem, right? You got your like a right? But why don't you listen? That I means you're stupid. Now, you got to teach how people being stupid. Okay, no, you know what? Give me that Jeremiah. I saw the show. Jeremiah 4. Jeremiah 4. Let's see. 422. Let's see what the Bible teacher, says, right? He said, when you don't listen, you're stupid. Let's see what right. God says. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. I just told you. Listen, I don't want your words. We're going to let God's words speak. That's right. right. Let God's words speak. Read. Jeremiah 4, verse 22. For my people, it's foolish. So what does God say? His people are foolish. I just told you that. Read. They have listen, listen, we don't want your words. We want God's words. That's, That's right. right. That's it. Our people want us to hear them over God. No, sir, you're in the wrong place. God's word get exalted in this place. That's, That's right. right. Read. For my people is foolish. Uh -huh. They have not known me. Uh -huh. They are Sodish children. God says they're stupid children. That's what Sodish means. That's what Sodish means. God says that. I don't need a man to tell me that. I know it because God says so. Bro, right. what's your question, sister? I have a question about, you know, in Christianity, like they, they try to tell the Christians that 1 Corinthians 10, 9 and 10, if you confess that Jesus Christ calls God in the course, then you save. Explain that okay. for our people. Okay. So you want to know about the confession? Yeah, I want. But that's why do they use that to get Christians, to people to confess that they are Christian and they're saved? So what's the opposite of that? Us being an Israelite, can you break it down so we, can, as an Israelite, will understand? Right. Give me that in John, in uh, Matthew chapter ten, folks. Ten and twenty-two. All saved. Yep, Matthew 10 and 22. Matthew chapter 10, verse 22. And then we'll get to the part, what the confession actually is. Right. Read. And ye shall be hated. So now, the sister's question is about in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, when you confess the name of Jesus Christ, you're saved. Okay, that's what he teaches Christianity. She's absolutely right. 100% right. But what is not the confession that it's talking about right. is not the confession of just saying, Lord is or the Lord Jesus Christ is my Savior and that's it. That's, right. that's not the confession the Bible's talking about. Before you go there, give me Isaiah 28. Bring it up. Before you go there. Isaiah chapter 28. And read verse 9 and 10. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9. Come on. Who shall he teach knowledge? So who's going to get the knowledge of the Most High God? Read. And who shall he make to understand the doctrine? Who is he going to make to understand his doctrine? Who is he going to make to understand his word? Is it going to be everybody on the planet? Let's see. Them that are weaned from the milk uh -huh. and drawn from the breast. And drawn from the breast. Those are on the milk of the word. God's commandments and faith in his son. Read. Right. For precept. Must be upon precept. No, maybe. Must be upon precept. The Bible says precept must be upon precept. You know what a precept is? Brandy, you, you know, you know, sister? What's a precept? A precept is like, it's almost like a puzzle. You gotta put it together by scripture, by scripture, line by line. Okay, okay. Precept is a law. So to gain understanding about certain laws, you have to read a little here, read a little there to get better understanding. It's gonna keep telling you that. Keep reading. For precept must be upon precept, uh -huh. precept upon precept, uh -huh. line upon line, line upon line, line upon line, uh -huh. here a little and there a little. So now, when we say keep the Sabbath holy, did not we go to precepts to show you and give you a better explanation on how to keep the Sabbath holy? We did, right? Because precept must be upon precept. Now, go to um, go to Matthew, uh, let's actually go to 1 Corinthians chapter, uh, was it 9 and 10? 9 and 10? Yes. Is 
and nine and ten. Let's get the scripture sheet for Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Come on. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Now, you know what the funny part about that? We're going to go little by little and read it over slowly. Read it again from the top. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Now it says, if go ahead, read. And shall believe in thine heart. So now it says, if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. What does that mean? Confess with your mouth. What? The Lord Jesus. So basically, all it says, the Lord Jesus. What are you confessing? What are you confessing? The Lord Jesus. What does that even mean? Read. And shall believe in thine heart that God have raised him from the dead. So now, here's another part that I want to touch on. If you believed in your heart, in your mind, according to the Bible, that God raised him from the dead, he has to have a physical appearance. Correct? Correct. So question, what is, you, you already know, what does Jesus look like in the Bible? What's his description? Uh, hair white, uh, wool and right. white. Uh, What's his complexion? Bronze. Yeah, bronze. He's a dark skinned man, right? Red. Dark skinned man. So wait a minute. So why is that guy in every church? Right. Bring it up. Because the Bible says you have to confess the Lord Jesus and believe that the Most High rose him from the dead, right? Yeah. So when he rose, did he raise up like that? No. So they already got that part wrong because they got the wrong Jesus in their minds. That's right. Read. Thou shalt be saved. Then you'll be saved, right? Then you'll be saved. Not that you are saved. Then. Future tense, right? But let's see. Matthew 10, 22. Matthew 10 and 22. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Matthew chapter 10, verse 22. Uh -huh. And ye shall be hated of all men uh -huh. for my name's sake. So first of all, when you confess the true Christ, the black Messiah, the Bible says you're going to be hated of all men. You're going to be hated. Who hates good old Christians today? Yeah. Nobody. Right. Because they're not confessing the real Jesus. Right. That's, right. right. That's the first part. You're confessing Caesar Borgia. Mm -hmm. Read. But he that endureth to the end. Uh -huh. the, the, the endure to the end in what? Overcoming your sins and confessing the real Christ. Shall be saved. Wait a minute. There's that shall be saved again shall be saved. So are you saved now? No. Because what are you saved from? That's a good question, right? What are you saved from? Are you saved from a stray bullet? No, you're not, because one can fly right now. Are you saved from the ghettos? No, because we're still in the ghettos. Are you saved from AIDS and STDs? No, because they're prevalent in our communities. Right. So what are you saved from? Are you saved from a police officer beating you behind? No, you're not. So what are we saved from? Read it one more time. She's saved by grace. Read again. Matthew 10, 10 verse 22. Uh -huh. And ye shall be hated of all men uh -huh. for my name's sake. Uh -huh. But he that endureth to the end uh -huh. shall be saved. Shall be saved. Because there's something you have to do before you be saved. Uh, 1 Kings chapter 8. Bring it out. 1 Kings chapter 8. Start at verse 47. Let's see. Let's see what brings forth salvation. First Kings chapter 8. First Kings chapter 8, verse 48, 47. Come on. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. So a part of the salvation process, the Bible says, you have to bethink yourself. You have to remember who you are. Mm. Because last time I checked, when I read this Bible, Jesus ain't coming back for African Americans, right, right. Native Indians, bring it out, uh, uh, Jamaicans, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans. He's coming back for the twelve tribes of Israel. That's That's right. Right. You have to remember who you are according to the Bible. Read in the land whither they were carried captive. Ah, uh -huh. and wait, we, where, were we carried captives to this land? Huh? 
were we carried as captives to this land? Yeah. Read that part again. Yet yeah, they shall be think themselves Come on. in the land whither they were carried captives. So you have to bethink yourself, remember who you are. In the land, you were carried away as a slave. That's Randy, were we brought here as slaves? So in the land you were brought, you have to remember who you are. Read. And repent. And do what? And repent. Go ahead. And. So repent, who knows what repentance is? Brother, you know what repentance is out in the A-hat? What's repentance? Nah. Uh, 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 saying that you, you ain't gonna do that no more. Do what no more? Uh, act up. Act up. If, if, if we throw a party right now, not today, but tomorrow, we might act up at the party, dancing and having a good time. Act up, know that you will be from your sins, your sins, the breaking of God's commandments. Read that again. And repent. Uh -huh. And make supplications. Make a what? Supplications. That's a verbal confession. That's the confession it's talking about in Romans. A verbal confession to the Lord doing what? What are you confessing? Unto thee in the land of them uh -huh. that carried them captive. Uh -huh. Saying. Do what? Saying. You have to say something in that confession, correct? Go ahead. We have sinned. You have to say we have sinned. So are you telling me that the one true righteous God says you can be in all wickedness on the planet, all you gotta say is Jesus? No. That doesn't even make any sense. So wait a minute, so we went into slavery for breaking God's commandments. We're gonna be redeemed when we start keeping God's commandments. Right. But all you had to say was Jesus? So I could've shaved my face, I could've, we, we could still be eating pork and shrimp and lobster? Mm -hmm. All we had to say was, is that easy? No. Wait a minute. Last time I checked, the kingdom wasn't being given out like that. Run. Run. Read. And have done perversely. We have to say we've done perversely. We have to say we've done perversely. Read. We have committed wickedness. We have to say we've committed wickedness. This is the confession that's going on. That's right. Because Christ is the word. Yes. The word is righteous. Run. Right? Run. So you're confessing Jesus by confessing your sins. Sin. Read. And so return. Unto thee. And that's the part of it that we tend to forget. Mm. How you gonna confess Jesus but you praying to the so-called white man? Mm. He ain't a white man according to the Bible. Right, right. right. So you confessing the wrong thing. Read. And return unto thee with all their heart uh -huh. and with all their soul uh -huh. in the land of their enemies, uh -huh. which led them away captive. Come on. And pray unto thee toward their land. So we pray towards our land, go ahead. Which thou gavest unto their fathers. Uh -huh. The city which thou hast chosen. Come on. The, and the house which I have built but then, but thy name. Now I want you to read the next four words real slow. Then hear thou their prayer. Wait a minute. Mm. Wow. After you've done all of that, God says, that's when he hears your prayers. So, so, so that's that's the confession part to salvation. Look, the most high God will save you because you've done all the steps to get to the point of being saved. You understand that, Randy? And their supplication in heaven. So then, so the verbal confession that you made, it says now it's heard in heaven. Because you follow all the steps that God told you to do. Read. Thy dwelling place and maintain their cause. Maintain their cause. That is the part about salvation. He's going to maintain your cause. Because we're all working for something. Right. We're all striving for something. Right. What is that? The kingdom of heaven. That's, That's right. right. That's the cause he's going to maintain. Leviticus 26. Bring it up. Oh, read the rest. Read the rest. Yes. And forgive thy people. What is the forgiveness going to happen? Read that have sinned against thee. So that's when the forgiveness or the salvation comes about because we have followed the steps that the Lord has written in the Bible. But we don't want that. We just, that's it? Go ahead. No, read Leviticus 20, uh, 26. Leviticus 26. I want to show y'all something. Leviticus chapter 26. Yes, verse 40. That's, here's another part about the confession system. Verse 40. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 40. Come on. If they shall confess their iniquity. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So I, I'm 
get, I'm getting two different, two different uh, 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 viewpoints here. You know, mm. right? One says confess Jesus, right? But here it says confess your iniquity. That's why the Bible must be read precept upon precept. That's why it's important. Read. Confess their iniquity. Yeah, come in. And the iniquity of their fathers. No, no, I remember, I remember, I remember. With, with their trespass. Uh huh. With they trespass against me. So now, hold that. Don't lose that. First Timothy 2.19. Bring it out. First Timothy 2.19. Let's see what the Bible says. Because remember, the objective is confess Jesus, right? But when we're reading in, in, everywhere else, it's saying confess your iniquity, confess your sins. 2 Timothy 2.19. Second Timothy 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the, found, the foundation of God standeth sure, uh -huh. having this seal. Uh -huh. The Lord knoweth them that are his. So the Lord knows them that are his. Those who are keeping his commandments, he knows you very well. Because remember earlier, he is hearing your prayers. Because you're what? Keeping his commandments. You yes. confess your faults. You, you uh, turn from your sins. You repent it. Now you're keeping the commandments. It's your prayers he hears. Mm. So he knows you. Read. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I, I'm confused. So we got to just confess Jesus and that's it. Mm. We're saved. Wait a minute. The same person who wrote Romans is the same man who wrote 2 Timothy. Yeah. And he says, if you name Christ, you have to depart from your iniquity. That's right. That's right. So which one is it? Which one is it? Here's the thing. Christianity has no understanding of God's word. That's That's right. Right. None whatsoever. I don't care what theological school you've gone to. I don't care under what pastor you've been apprenticed under. You've been taught wrong. Thus saith the Lord. Read that one more time. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.